What's your favorite feature about Timescale? Continuous aggregates. That combined with the compression allows us to keep the full granularity of the raw data underneath. So the compression lets us keep all the raw data and have it not be prohibitively expensive. And then the continuous aggregates lets us build the aggregations on top of that that will, are up to the minute accurate and query them with basically instant responsiveness. And so we can look at things like our AI cost over the past five years with, I don't know, 50 billion rows of data. And we can get those aggregate results within seconds. And that helps us understand where we've been and make dis business decisions going forward. Pretty much just creating a hyper table in a few seconds and throwing data in it and having it be extremely fast is probably my favorite because we looked at, you know, plain SQL tables versus Postgres and things like that. And I think the speed probably is our favorite feature, especially for customers that bring in way too much data. Learning through blogs and all the resources that you have out there, as well as just the videos, the API doc, everything that we can understand about Timescale through the documentation is honestly one of my favorite things as a developer. I, I recognize that it's not like a core feature like compression or continuous aggregates. There's nothing that I find more valuable than good documentation when you're trying to provide resources for non engineers or junior engineers, because that way I don't have to sit down with them to explain everything. I can point them to an article and help them learn. How would you quantify maybe the benefits or impact that Timescale has had on your business? Um, like I said, nine person team, 10 million players, like we're managing a lot of data and it's a fully online service. Timescale and Postgres is really our core of that whole product. That's where we keep all the persistent data, where we keep track of all the stories, all the players, all of the experiences they're having. That all lives in that relational database. Now we're on Timescale Cloud. Um, at one point, we had as many as 12 uh, services on managed service, and we've gradually consolidated, the, consolidated them down under one master service on cloud. Um, and that's been really nice to have it all in one place. And that's been amazing. Um, I think that's we're at something like $12,000 a month of database cost saved because of the compression. We have over 7 million water quality data points and we have some customers that bring in hundreds of thousands of data points in their dashboard. So being able to load that quickly has been just great for us. It was a very straightforward point. It was, we need to time bucket properly, depending on the range that uh, our customers are looking at, whether they wanna see weekly, monthly, daily, hourly data, or even down to like 15 minute intervals. Uh, we found that Timescale did that for us extremely easily. And not only that, just the time in which we were able to just spin up a database so quick and being able to try it out honestly for free before we even move forward was huge. And I'm pretty happy that we've made the right decision so far. It's one of those things that like, it's just, we don't have to worry about it, which has been really nice. It's just, we know it works and it's getting better. So. I think one of the things for us, especially being so small, is seeing how timescale is developing with bringing in vectors, kind of moving forward with the industry as well in terms of like the time series data that I just know that the way we're growing, it's going to kind of be growing along with us. So I'm not, it's just kind of like a peace of mind. It's like not a cost burden to us. We know it works. It checks a lot of box for clients and I know it's going the right direction. So it's like, that's really valuable for us. Uh, what I do have is a fairly good anecdote in which I was on vacation and we experienced database corruption and I was up from like 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. every morning of that vacation trying to fix the problem. And the fact that I didn't have to do that at all since we've changed to Timescale Cloud as a developer that makes my experience so, so much better. Well, from my perspective as a consumer of the data that we're receiving from our machines, I need to be able to visualize and understand uh, robots and their performance very quickly so that we're able to rapidly you know, adjust and deliver great experiences to our customers. I mean, again, the reliability of that system and of that stream of data has always been supreme. I haven't had the challenge of waiting on data coming into the infrastructure. I've been really, really happy with that. So it makes my decision-making process very easy. So I'm able to prioritize and deliver really good outcomes to my customers.